All right, so this team right here, it's just very dot heavy. I've got the Gustine Grimoire, or more aptly named Necrodot. He just has three dots in all all slots. He's got Fell Immolation, Agony, and Curse of Doom. So if he's ever stuck as a last pet, you don't want him to be your last pet out because, I mean, he can spam Fell Immolation to do some nice damage, but these two are abilities you really don't want to spam. But it's nice. He has three dots. He can go out first, do a whole bunch of damage, almost die. It doesn't matter. If he gets out all three dots, that's a lot of damage going out. It's pretty much going to kill any pet that it goes on. Unless it's an aquatic type. Or, no, just an aquatic type. Aquatic type, it's not going to do shit against. You're going to have a really bad time against aquatic types with this guy. And then I've just got the Macro Bay Marionette. The spooky Skeleton with Bone Barrage, Death and Decay, and Macro Bay Maraca. That way he can actually do some different type damage besides Undead since this has a lot of Undead dots. I think it might have like nearly every single Undead dot in the game. Nearly almost. So it doesn't have Siphon Life or Haunt. I think there's only two left out. It just has so much so much dot power. And then I've got the Sporling Sprout. He also has a nice little dot. It's just more, more of a heal though. I mean, it, it is a dot technically, but you use it more to heal with this guy. Also with Crouch and Jab and having an HH type with his humanoid racial so he heals up at the end of the turn. Very tanky pet, except against undeads. If you go against undead, you're gonna get destroyed. Any other pet though, you'll do pretty decently since he's able to basically just heal up for a lot. He's a surprise healer. That really should be a stay. <laughs> surprise, I heal up a lot more than most healers do. All right, this is actually going to be kind of a tough matchup for me. Hmm, Sea Pony, the Crawdad. Oh, who should I start off with? The dots aren't going to do shit against any of them. Hmm, I guess my best bet is to start off with Look at Me. I'm Mr. Meeksies. Oh, his Sea Pony's faster than me. This isn't good. Not good at all. Let's go into a jab, because I'm not really taking any damage yet. And there goes his Cleansing Rain. Oh, he's trying to buff the damage of his Torrent. That way he can do a whole bunch of AoE damage. I get it. I totally just wasted a whole bunch of terms of my... I don't think I ever actually have to use Leech Seed against this guy while I've got Crouch going. And one of my backline pets takes less damage from it. How neat. I can just go into Leech Seed now since I don't have my Crouch up. Why not? And then I'll just jab him a few more times, that way he kicks the bucket. Let's not refresh Crouch yet. Oh shit, I was expecting him to mindlessly spam. <laughs> That's not good for me. Is he gonna go into Cleansing Rain again? Yep. Can we refresh it for his backline pet? I'm going to assume his ghost shell crab. Well, I'm going to assume he's going to go into bubble this turn, so let's go into crouch. Since I'm not going to be doing any damage to him for two turns. 50% <laughs> less damage. I should be able to heal up though. He does hit really hard. But I've got Leech Seed off cooldown. Ah, and he's hitting with all of his abilities too. How annoying. Oh man. He hit with every single Spirit Claw. It only has an 80% chance to hit. You're not supposed to hit with all of them. Oh, thank god he went to Whirlpool. <laughs> okay, let's go into more jabs. Finally, he misses. All is right in the universe. And let's get off one more. If I'm able to get off Oh a leech seed before he goes into bubble. Boo Well Spooky Skeleton. I'm going to set up Death and Decay. Hmm, that way I can take out his bubble. I can take out his bubble with Bone Barrage, so I'm just gonna keep going into my humanoid ability. I forgot. This guy actually has a non-undead ability. Oops. That's right. This guy has bubble going. <laughs> I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. oh. I hope I don't lose because of that. 
Um, let's see, we have... No, he's faster than me. So it doesn't matter if I hit him first, I can just set up death and decay for the Phoenix Hatchling. He's gonna die, even though the dots do like no damage, he has 12 health. <gasps> Ooh, I have a type advantage against this guy. I'm gonna spam Macro Bay. No, wait, what is this called? Macro Bray Maracas until he kicks the bucket. Aww. I'm only gonna get off one, how disappointing. That means I'm gonna have Necro Dot to deal with this guy. Boo! Should be fine as long as he doesn't have any dragon type abilities. Plus, he's got two dots going. Ooh, shit. Alright, so Agony is gonna be the most amount of damage I can do in a shortest amount of time. Luckily, he wasted his Dragonkin Racial. And now I'm just gonna have to spam Fell Immolate for damage. Come on, spam Fell Immolate. Don't kick the bucket here. Foul immolation. Is that going to be enough? He's got three dots going. And I can't be dealt more than 35% damage in a turn, so I think this is... Oh, no! It wasn't... That's right, he's using quills. Oh, I tied it. That's fine, too. I'm all for a tie. If I can't get the win, as long as you don't get the win, too, that's perfect. Okay, so... He's got... Double Call Lightning and Presence. I'm gonna assume he's a Switch Teamer. So I can start off with Necro Dots, put a whole bunch of dots, and switch into Spooky Skeleton. While at the same time getting off a nice Curse of Doom on Bad Santa. I knew what you were doing. Okay, never mind. He completely threw my assumptions out the window. I 100% was not expecting Ice Tomb. I was expecting Presence to get super buffed by Call Lightning. He has Grinch's Gift. Not unexpected. Not in the least. Um, let's go into a switch. No, maybe I should throw out one more dot before I use the turn to switch out. Does less damage to critters. I don't have a critter to switch into that to take it. I do have a nice guy who can proc his racial though and allow me to switch into the Macro Bay Marionette. I mean, Spooky Skeleton. Spooky, Spooky Skeleton. Spooky, Spooky Skeleton. Let's set up Death and Decay, because he's going to die no matter what. Oh, shit, son. Curse of Doom. Wrecked ya. Oh, wait. Necrodoss is going to die in the back row. As soon as he brings out Stormwind. Oh, well. Let's go into Bone Barrage and then we'll just switch between Macro Bay Maracas and Bone Barrage because that's the only AoE he has. Oh shit. He's buffing me. <laughs> he didn't go into Thunderbolt right off the bat. I guess he doesn't really care about killing my back row Necro Dot. It doesn't matter, it's not like he can do much anyway. He's. Oh, he's not that slow. I keep on forgetting he's not a elemental type. I mean, he's not undead. Oh shit, he went for damage? What? 73, he's exactly the same speed. I should be able to kill him with a nice bone barrage. Let's do it, bone barrage. Hopefully he'll waste his thunderbolt this turn. He might actually have flock since he's not using his thunderbolt. Oh shit, did he do nothing? Oh, you did nothing. <laughs> Alright, 50-50 chance to go first. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> now 50-50 chance to go first again. Come on, can we do it? Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Good job, Necrodots, getting off a nice type advantage dot on him while he has a nice buff for you. Okay, so crouch, because this guy actually hits really damn hard. He's going to buff up my dots again. Very good matchup for me, if I do say so myself, considering I have a nice type advantage against him. He has three dots rolling. One of them is buffed. Oh, wow, he has thrash. I did not expect that. He is not a fast pet. He's not all that slow, but he's definitely not fast. <laughs> Look at this, three, four dots, four dots going. L Leech Seed actually hits pretty damn hard. Okay, now he only has three dots going. 
Oh no, more thrashes. He's really taking advantage of that weather effect. Except my team takes better advantage of your weather effect. So, that was... I don't want to say easy win because I did. That was kind of close.